Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, the other day I received an email, you know, it's... Well, it was a bit of a dodgy one, if, if you ask me, right? It even says in my in my thing it says um this message might be suspicious or spam it was from chris singham of course it's suspicious or spam definitely suspicious anyway uh so yeah he's, he's back to sending out his nonsense to try and get people to sign up for his nonsense we're going to go into that a lot more in detail at another time but i just want to go through this email because i found it very offensive particularly towards certain members of his own family. And it just goes to show just what an absolute prize one Pratt he actually is. And he does not care about anyone except himself. He says, for those of you that don't know this yet, October to December is the time to get rich quick. There's no such thing as a get rich quick scheme. Christopher, you should know this by now. It's the one time of year where everyone is spending and not caring about how much they're spending. Well, I find that quite offensive because you're basically saying to your subs, your fans, your customers, it's okay to spend on my shit right now because, you know, you just don't care about what you're going to spend it on because it, it's just money to you, isn't it? Just money this time. It's just money. Just another outlay. It doesn't matter, right? It's all good, right? Just spend it on whatever shit I'm piling on to you right now because it's okay. It's Christmas, isn't it? It's Christmas. That's what you do. Everyone is searching for the perfect Christmas presents and generally feeling much easier about spending the money they have. This is where he's so detached from reality because right now people aren't doing that. People maybe, you know, if you have the money, maybe you do, you are doing that. Maybe you are just spending willy nilly on Christmas presents and things like that. However, people right now are not feeling it, right? There is a cost of living crisis. People have a lot less money. They're not spending it just here, there and everywhere on Christmas presents. They are watching what they're spending it on. But Chris does not know this because he is an absolute prize one prat, as I mentioned, because he thinks that everything revolves around their little bubble. They don't get out of their little bubble. And he doesn't know that people are not, you know, rich, basically, um, like him, right, you know. He thinks that everyone has his sort of wealth. He goes on to say it's the perfect time to learn how to use your phone to make an easy, easy extra £10,000 per month. If it was that easy, I trust me, I would not be, um, you know, living in this little hovel. <laughs> I don't live in a hovel, honestly. It's not a bad little um, abode of mine. Anyway... Um, he goes on to say then, and all that will cost you is £19.99. My God, that's cheap, isn't it? It's cheap. Who wouldn't trade £19.99 for £10,000? Well, I certainly would, right? I, I definitely would. Is it guaranteed, Chris? Because if it is, I'm going to sign up for it. I promise you that if it's a guaranteed £10,000 for my £19.99 investment, I definitely am going to do it. Because, you know, who wouldn't, right? Who wouldn't? In your words, why wouldn't you? How many times are you going to order a takeaway this week alone? Average takeaway order is about £20. But all you are going to do with that £20 is basically shit it down the toilet. <laughs> that brilliant sales sales patter there from Christopher. Um, yes, uh, you're going to literally shit it down the toilet. Um, I, I really don't know what to, to say to that. But what is this 1999 also going to do to you? Um, it, maybe it's going to make you skin i don't know he claims that it's a guaranteed 10 grand so maybe i should sign up for it where do i sign right <laughs> i haven't signed up for it by the way just in case people are getting their hopes up and chris oh, yes i have not done it so don't be worried don't be searching through your little orders to see if if there's any, any suspicious ones right he goes on to say instead take your 20 pounds and make an investment in yourself because believe me, once you know how to do it, you'll never have to worry about spending any amount of £20 again. <gasps> wow. I run 
a number of different high ticket, that means high payment, businesses, um, he, yay, <laughs> we're going to get onto that, business models, all of which contribute to the free life that I live today, traveling and doing whatever I want every single day, never having to worry about paying the bills or spending money on dinners and takeouts. The word is takeaways, Chris, you're not in America. Right, so um, what you're saying is that what this sort of thing that you're selling to us now has contributed to um, you living in a, a van, right? <laughs> that doesn't bode well, right? Because you're living like little gypsies, right? No offense to gypsies, but that's just the way it is, living like little gypsies, right? Whereas when you were like rich and not doing these schemes, right? You were actually going on like um, high paid holidays, um, like all inclusive holidays. You were going to Disney all the time and things like that. That was when you weren't doing these schemes. So these schemes are really not paying the bills or not paying um, anything really that, um, yeah, it's, it's not selling it to me, Chris. Honestly, it's not. He goes on to say, coming from a true brokey background, trust me, this way of life is insane and never one that I take for granted. So I am actually in shock and awe at Chris's actual prattiness, right? Because he comes from a background, he is claiming to be a brokey background ground that is one to be ashamed of essentially right but i was under the impression that he actually came from quite a nice background uh, he had a nice family his parents were fairly well off he came from a nice area in leeds and maybe maybe i'm mistaken so let's hear it from somebody else who who knows i also had another guy who was a i think chris is a year older than me but another guy that was the same age as me, who also lived in this nice area that I couldn't believe I could get a home in, he had a family that was just so wonderful and welcoming and loving. And I and he and he and he was interested in me. <laughs> like, like he was interested in being with me. I I just could not believe my luck. So apparently, according to Sarah, that's Chris's wife, Chris was actually from a very nice background. And um, I mean, if that is Chris's brokey background, God help Sarah. She came from a, a place where she was in the deep, dark dungeons of Leeds that she actually looked up to the brokey Chris. Right? So, you know, um, Chris, how must your parents actually feel about you that you have called their the way that they brought you up as a brokey, right? How do you think that makes them feel? I reckon that they brought you up pretty damn well, right? I think that they did their best by you. Obviously, didn't do great because you grew up to become a bit of a predator, but and they did their best by you when the, when you were younger and you you know you ha you were were not wanting for anything pretty much i'm certain of that you know as much as we do don't like jane and steve and everything right i think that they brought him up pretty well right they they had a bit of money behind them and things like that they were quite comfortable and yet chris has just chucked that all back in their face by saying he came from a brokey background. Oh my actual days, right? <laughs> Honestly, I'm actually stunned. I mean, Chris gets on quite well with his parents, or was, did. He is like the apple of their eye. He is the old, well, I was going to say he's the only <laughs> the only son. He's, he's the weak link, link of the sons there. They do have another son. He has a brother. But the way Chris has just chucked that in their face, I'm actually in shock. He goes on to say, but using all these different business models every day makes me very qualified to teach others how to do the exact same. How does it make you qualified for anything, Christopher? Because you're clearly lying, right? Lying. 
if you are caught in a lie, that does not mean you are qualified then to teach people how to do things. It means that people now don't trust you, right? Remember, you learn from people that do, not from people that preach, but don't actually do. So what is it you actually do? Because you are trying to sell this thing, right? It's 1999 only 1999 mind you a one-off payment i assume because that's what you, you're telling me uh, 1999 um, and i'm gonna get get 10 grand back for that apparently um but are you doing that have you done that everything that you're going to teach me how to do you have already done and i'm making a lot, a lot of money is that what you're trying to tell me because i kind of beg to differ right i don't think um finances with you are great anyway he goes on to say remember you learn from people that do not from people that preach but don't actually do my life is an open book on youtube for everyone to see from <laughs> but that's not a good thing chris that is not a good thing right if you google your name yes your life is an open book but it comes up with a lot of shit about you right from that anyone can also see that i clearly do <laughs> you do oh my god you actually do do right um it says join the future millionaires club and chris is the first member of that because he needs to know how to do that too learning how to use your phone in a way that can generate you literally seven figure payouts is a very liberating thing to to learn that means that you can literally earn money from anywhere in the world that you have a wi-fi connection well it sounds great it sounds great i'm not gonna lie i'm i'm looking forward to this you know 1999 is what you're telling me it sounds great i have become the master of this overt what I have become the master of this over the last eight years, all of which is super simple. You just need to know how and that that and have the drive to show up every day to make it happen. Uh, so I set up a club, a private network of people um, that are all on the same path. Uh, <laughs> indeed, indeed you have. Um, can I ask, is this the same club that I was a member of before that you kicked me out of? Is it the same one? I mean, this is a serious question, actually, because I'm, it sounds like it's a new club, but I'm getting the feeling that it's the exact same one, just under a different name. Uh, and it's it's not fair to, to mislead on this, right? All want the same goals, all really hungry for it. A place where you can learn all the business models I use every day by watching videos about them. All set out and structured to teach you everything you need. A place where you can get daily tips, tricks and advice about all the different businesses I teach. A place where you can get one-to-one -one support and help from myself. I can teach you how to go from zero to earning money from your phone within one week or less. See, this is the thing, right? If it is the same thing that you were, would, were in before, it's not like that, right? You don't give daily videos or one-to-one -one mentorship. It's shit, right? The best you did was you posted other people's videos, that is a thing. That's what he did. Posted other people's videos about how to do these things. He didn't do the videos himself, right? This is what he's he's pushing out. He's making people think that it's him that's doing the videos. It's not him. With proven results and up-to-date real advice on the real businesses that make you the real money, you're never going to get rich or be able to buy that house or that car on a salaried job. That's just a fact. The only way to do it is to make your own wealth. Now, I have a question here, right? And it's a very valid question, right? You're saying that you can't get what you want on a salary job. Many people do, actually. So you're insulting a lot of people. However, if you are doing... <laughs> I, I don't believe I even have to ask this, right? But if you are doing what you're saying you are doing, why don't you have any of that? 
all right the only things that you ever buy are second hand you have not bought one single first hand brand new vehicle right you have very old like that um that recent example of the the trailer caravan thing that you got it was 2009 so 15 years old right you paid four grand for it so why aren't you buying brand new i'm not saying that you shouldn't try and save money you know do it if you want but like you don't have the best of the best cars you don't have that car that you want or that house that you want you just don't you you skip scrimp and save every possible opportunity you can get and you don't buy the best of the best because you can't afford the best of the best so why do you think that we should believe what you have is um, what we're gonna have we don't want what you have basically Work for yourself on your own terms. Join the Future Millionaires Club today and let me get you started. With a £19.99 per month subscription, you cannot go wrong. Now, I have a question, Chris. I know it's on the forefront of everybody's minds now. Right at the start of this email, right, you said for just £19.99, you can turn that into ten grand, right? But you did not mention anything at all about a per month subscription right you didn't you just said it's 19.99 that is it you did not and right at the very end you say oh by the way it's per month yeah yeah i've been lying the whole thing the whole time i've been lying well shocker shocker so let's maximize the start of the last quarter of the year end christmas with stupid money in the bank join the future millionaires club today right um but i would say it's too late right it's basically the end of October. You've got November and December to go. If you are going to be selling things specifically for Christmas, right? Um, it's too late. As a businessman, you should know that. It's too late. You need to find your product, market it, and sell it long before fucking December. Long before November even, right? You, you, you need to do that. And you should know that. Sarah is the businesswoman of the year. She's been doing this year on year. She knows that you do not start selling your shit like mid-November, for example, right? You don't. Actually, she does. But, you know, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> anyway, yes, that was an interesting insight into how Chrisingham's... Um, Life is going. He's a bit skint now. He needs to pay off uh, his Christmas, um, his, his kids' Christmas lists and stuff like that. So, um, but I just thought it was interesting, mainly because he is calling his parents brokies. <laughs> and the way that he was brought up was a, as a brokey, um, which is very, very offensive and just basically not nice. I don't see how people don't see that. <laughs> Honestly, I don't. Anyway, yes, um, if you have appreciated this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. Comment all of your thoughts about it down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Let's change the world one day at a time. Until next time, have a brilliant day. Take care of yourselves and bye-bye.